So, hello everyone and a warm welcome to the Horsefall Community Stadium for this pre-season game between Bradford Park Avenue and Blackpool 11. I'm Samuel Wright, joined by Arthur Difford. And uh, Arthur, this is going to be an interesting one. Park Avenue looking to win the third game in a row, a penalty shootout win nine days ago against local rivals Bradford City. And a win this past Saturday against Chorley, a 1-0 win. So yeah, Park Avenue building momentum for that Northern Premier League season. And of course, it all builds up to that game against Macclesfield on August the 12th. Yeah, good evening, Sam. Uh, really looking forward to this game tonight. Uh, a couple of trialists in the Park Avenue 11. But uh, some mainstays of last season's side uh, for tonight's fixture. Really quite excited to see it. I've actually seen some rather good football in pre-season for Park Avenue. Looking on to that Macclesfield game, hopefully get that three points to start the season up right. It's there in the uh, centre. Going to get us underway. And can Park Avenue make it three straight wins in pre-season building towards that game against Macclesfield on August 12th. Referee checks if both goalkeepers are ready. And we should be ready to go any moment. The referee blows his whistle and here we go. So, uh, uh, you know, Blackpool seems to be zipping it about perhaps a little bit quicker in these early stages as they go forward yeah, now come, on that side. Come forward here, it's into the area. That's really good defending actually here by Kersey. The ball's out on the left-hand side again. He's played to the 18 on the edge of the area. On his left foot, he puts it over the crossbar. But that was a threat. It seems to be that left-hand side though early on that is causing Blackpool, um, Park Avenue, sorry, all the problems. Uh, throw in <laughs> for... Uh, for Park Avenue, and it is going to be thrown now forward. It's uh, controlled. Eventually, the ball is won back, and uh, that Blackpool do really well. Number 18, the Blackpool's been very lively in the early stages in the possession now, in fact, and he plays it forward. That's really good play, and this is good play, and here comes the uh, threat on the left. Oh, and it's gone through. The ball was missed by Kersey, and here we go now. Blackpool's number seven on the left. He's been threatening all game. Good defending, though, by Kersey. Stood his ground, never intimidating, and gets it away. Oh, Park Avenue as they drive forward They now. are driving forward really well. It's a good run actually by Kersey there. And here's Labastide on the right-hand side. And it's given back by Longbottom. And the ball was with Preston. And he then plays it to Harrison Hopper. Good spell this for Park Avenue in Blackpool's half. Haven't said that so far an awful lot, but they're happy to keep possession for now. Look for an opening and the ball's played forward. Labastide will chase it. He's not going to give it up. But it might well go out of play. It does. Is that a corner, though, maybe? It is a corner. He's done really well there, Labasti, to win that. He never gave up, and he was persistent. And that's his reward for it. I believe it just bounced off the Blackpool play. We did see that it actually may have just come off him and gone out. And that's the case. And the corners can be taken by a long bottom and uh, a chance for Park Avenue to go into the penalty area. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like I was just speaking about before, I think there's two deep banks of four for Park Avenue and they broke out really well from them there as Will Longbottom puts the corner. He does. It's uh, not a bad one. It's right into the goalkeeper's arms. In fact, he might have been going for the far corner there, maybe. Yeah, he uh, did it last season against Alfredton Town. He did, yeah. It was a, not a bad effort, to be fair. And the goalkeeper always had it covered, to be fair, to Harvey Bardsley. You could tell he was uh, always going to get there, but I'm not sure if he had his eyes for it there, Longbottom. It certainly was deeper than everyone else, that's for sure, mm. but... One thing I did mention earlier on in the game was about Blackpool's height. I do think that is going to be a bit of a problem from set pieces. They come forward now, actually. The number 18, there's a chance here. They've got a chance, Blackpool, on the right-hand side. It's played in. It's Oh, it's meant to be dummied. It falls back. It surely is offside. He is. The flag has gone up. It was the number 10 of Blackpool. And uh, just about doing well there. He said that a lot about Park Avenue so far. They're just getting last-ditch touches in there to stop the ball going in. It was going to try to be dummied by the number 7. But in the end, uh, Park Avenue do well to get a touch. And uh, the number 10 blatantly offside. It's got a... Might just be lost in his feet. It is lost in his feet. And Hopper can win it back. A bit of a strong challenge, but he did win the ball. Doherty then pulls away. Doherty still coming forward. He might try and release Labastide, but uh, in the end he goes back to Kersey. And Kersey finds Trialist R, who is trying to play the ball forward. In the end, he's just put it out of play. I'm not sure who, who was quite a little bit isolated. Just caused problems. They look very calm in possession, Blackpool. But I think when you've got a striker bearing down, you always uneases you and you do eventually get your rewards. A good ball played out to the left-hand side by Blackpool, though. As they come forward now, it's the number seven in possession again. He's uh, just looking for his options here. He goes in field. That's not a bad ball. It's actually missed kick, but it does still come to number 18. He hits it from distance. It's a really good strike. It's actually a brilliant goal. And Blackpool take the lead just out of sight. Ken Worthy's reach. And I thought Sats Ken Worthy might well have had that. And it's just drifted into that far corner. It's got to be said, it's a fantastic goal. Just out of the reach of Sykes Kenworthy. And Blackpool take the lead by a goal to nil. And calm in possession again. And the number five, he wants another one. Very common possession. He's got plenty of space to run into here. And he goes through as well. That's a good ball. And the number 11 are going at it with trialist. Oh, 
He still got it. Trailers care, I should say. Shot comes in. It's deflected, and it's actually gone for a corner. So that's Kenworthy. Couldn't quite get it. It's like his hand went over the ball in the end. Luckily, it wasn't going in. Short. Corner's played short, I believe. It is played short, yeah. And it's back with the number seven as well, who can play one into the air. It's a high hanging ball. It's a good one. The header comes in from the number six. It's over the crossbar. I mentioned about Blackpool's height and how it would be a concern for Park Avenue. But it was a long range goal that did undo them. It's a good ball over the top again here, and it's going to be taken in by number 11 really well. He's into the penalty. A shot comes in. Good save by Sats Ken Murphy at the near post. They were appealing for handball. It was Trialis K obscurously appealing for handball. The number 11 got in behind, and then the shot near post. You've got to be said, probably the wrong option because if he went four post, it would have been harder for Sats Ken Murphy. He had his near post covered while the goalkeeper and makes a good save. A cross comes, a corner comes in from the number seven. It's a high hanger. The header comes down. It's eventually going to be cleared, is it? It's it's going to fall to Satsuke movie. There's actually a foul being given in Blackpool. He's done well. Number 10 plays number 7. Blackpool come forward again. Cross comes in. Oh, and in the end, it's really good defending by Whiting. He gets a vital touch. I thought number 11 was going to pull the trigger. You've got to be said, that's a vital touch. He could have easily given away a penalty there, Whiting, too. He timed his challenge fantastically. To see Park Avenue get the ball down, maybe drive down the wing, get a shot on goal if they can. As Longbottom puts the ball across. Does, it's not a bad one either. It's a goalkeeper comes a long way in the end. It was uh, Harvey Bardsley came a long way. It's actually a flag up for offside anyway. Is it going to be reached? I believe it will be reached by Callaghan. He plays it in as well. It's headed away. And it is the number eight who's there to clean up. Winning the second ball on the edge of the area. Also importantly for Blackpool. But you see Callaghan immediately making an impact there. Getting the ball in. In the end it didn't come to anything. But that's a... Uh, in the end, it's really good play by Longbottom, and it's ball played over the top by trying to start Doherty coming in behind here. Can Doherty control? It's a bit of a loose touch originally, turns well, and in the end, it's still going to be gathered by Lavasteed. He goes forward well, he's done really well, in fact. He goes into the air, he goes down, and the referee is waved, waved, just waiting to get up in the end. It could have been a penalty. It looked like maybe a bit of a coming together, but that's a threat. Labasteed, he's not had much of the ball, but when he has, he's been one of the most lively players on the field. Back, it's uh, to the edge of the area. Oh, we didn't see the man behind him. It's good play by Longbottom, but they still have the ball, and that's going to be a foul for Blackpool. All the good work Longbottom did track him back there. Unfortunately, ended up conceding the foul. It's a bit of a, you know, one of them, the number four. Turned blind, didn't really see Longbottom, but luckily for him, he kept the ball and then wins a free in a dangerous position. To his left and right as well. Oh, in fact, they've gone they've gone smart. Blackpool in the end. If all in, oh, that's got to be a penalty. Surely has it? No. I thought that was surely a penalty for Blackpool there, but no. Yeah, now, but Labastide has some tidy feet and was brought down, you know, sandwiched between two Blackpool players. Absolutely, yeah. Neither penalty given for neither. Ball play forward now. It's a gun to Colwell. Does well in the penalty area. Chance to shoot with his left foot. Oh, is that deflected behind it? It's a corner. Sorry, it's Callaghan. My apologies, not Colwell. Callaghan into the penalty area. Does well. Gets it onto that left foot. He got it correct to the Blackpool defender there. He stuck really tight, made it so hard for him to get a shot off. Long bottom to take it. It's not a bad, it's a high hanger. The goalkeeper comes and gets there. The rusty touch there by Callaghan and Blackpool come forward again on that left hand side. All the players are putting the motors on the ball. It was just a bit better there. Could have played number 18 in behind. And uh, oh, and Trialis K with some inexperience there has been beaten to it. And number 18 into the penalty area. Played in. Oh, and it, oh, he's missed it. Oh, it's not oh, good. Oh, the number seven missed it. Look a lot more fluid going forward, you know, a lot more balls going in behind, long bottoms pressing in the midfield, it was really quite strong. Yeah, and here is uh, Will Callaghan on the left hand side, and the ball's played in now, it's good play, and uh, eventually the ball's going to be a free kick I believe to Park Avenue, this, this is a very dangerous position. Not quite sure who was fouled there, I believe Harrison it might Hopper, well have, believe. Harrison Hopper, yeah, might well have been fouled, whipped in by long bottom. Oh, when it's a uh, player was coming in there, it is cleared away. Not, not very far though, but in the end they do get it away and it's prodded forward by the number 18, but uh, trialist K will go back to Sats Kenworthy and the half-time whistle blows at the Horseball Community Stadium. Bradford Park Avenue nil, Blackpool 11 won. A brilliant goal to open the scoring from Blackpool's number 18. Again, we apologise, we can't give you the official name due to the team sheet confusion, but it was a brilliant goal to open the scoring. It should have been 2-0. The number 18 scored one, should have made another. Ball played across, but the number 7 just put it right into the arms of Sats Kenworthy. One of the misses. Luckily for him, it's pre-season, but it would have been one of the misses of the season anywhere else. But number 7 has had a very good game, so take nothing away from him. But Park Avenue definitely looking encouraging. Long bottom. Preston has come off as well for Will Callaghan. And uh, we are going to have a 15-minute break now ahead of the second door. Hard time at the Horse Football Community Stadium, though. Brad Park Avenue 1, Blackpool 11 0. So, hello everyone. A warm welcome back to the Horsefall Community Stadium for this pre-season friendly between Bradford Park Avenue and Blackpool 11. 
Current score, Blackpool 1, well, Bradford Park Avenue nil. Blackpool 11-1. Um, but looking into the second half, I think Park Avenue, definitely things to build on it, like you say, after that last 20 minutes of the first half. Yeah, Blackpool have got us underway for the second half. It's kicked forward right towards uh, Park Avenue. Sats Ken Booby puts his foot through that one. Absolutely. With ease, as that central midfielder number four there shifts the ball over to the right hand side. And they come forward now, chance on the left foot to shoot. Oh, it's gone wide. It really opened up. It was the number 11 there. He cut inside. It wasn't a bad effort. He kind of came in and then the shot come in. They, and they come forward now. This might be a chance. It's a ball through. Oh, and it's immediately played as a lab by Steve, but he can't quite get there. He slowed down momentarily. The ball played forward again. I believe the number 10 might well be Jake Daniels. He's a. Uh, Got it now, chance to cross it. It's a good delivery. Oh, it's just oh, it's just missed the leg of the number seven. That's a brilliant ball in by, I believe it was Jake Daniels, a throw in eventually given in favour of Park Avenue. That was a brilliant delivery, it's got to be said, on the right. Ow. being the right winger this evening. Yeah, and they come forward again here, Blackpool. Another chance for them on the right-hand side. They're on the overlap. It's a good play. Cross comes in. Oh, it's, oh, it's Hopper who goes to get it. Oh, the chance. Oh, it's missed. It's the number seven again. It's the third opportunity he's had tonight that he's blazed. And that move was Whiting and Sykes Ken Worthy can kick it forward and try to assess the chance again. He flicks it on really well, actually. And that was a really good chance. It's on the. It's here with Collins. Here's the shot and it's straight out the goalkeeper. It's Callaghan, my apologies. The really good flick on, though, by Trial Assess there. Really good centre forwards play. Again, though, straight at the goalkeeper. And the ball's played in now. It's uh, going to be headed away well. Falls to number 11 on the edge of the area. He does really well to go back out to number seven. On that right, he whips one in. It's a really good ball. Oh, and it's number six who got his head to it. But in the end, it was more like a clearance. Yeah, bit he weird. <laughs> it was more like a clearance. He headed it straight back to where it came from. Good chance into the penalty area. Number 12 played it across. That's really, really good defending by Harrison Hopper. He meant very impressive so far this evening at times. And uh, now they're going to change it up a little bit. Now Park Avenue can come forward. It's a good ball over the top towards Doherty on the right-hand side. But really good defending by the number five. He's done fantastic there. And then the clearance so uh, nearly hits the crowd, but uh, <laughs> prevent it from doing so. But Doherty again, then balls over the top. He is, fr is threatening. Yeah, calm and composed defending there from uh, Blackpool. You know, he, he had a shaky moment in the first half uh, where he gave the ball away. But other than that, he's been really strong at the back. Absolutely. And uh, they have it on the left-hand side now as well. It's uh, actually with um, Callaghan and he gets the ball back as well. Oh, it's a really good turn. And here we go again. Callaghan comes forward now. Is that maybe a penalty? Maybe. It's a free kick Whoa. right on the edge. I said a penalty. I think it was just outside to be fair to the referee. Yeah. And actually as well, Longbottom's going to be the man over it. This is a very good position. It's in shooting range, literally right outside the penalty area. It is Longbottom's take. It's a good one. It's a goal. It. It's a brilliant strike. It was in really in shooting range and Longbottom, the only player to score in pre-season for Bradford Park Avenue so far. Well, he's just doubled his tally in pre-season. A brilliant free kick in shooting position. The goalkeeper, Harvey Barsley, has no chance and Park Avenue draw level. Yeah, perhaps went to the, uh, the side that the goalkeeper didn't expect, sort of wrong-footed the goalkeeper. Obviously, players usually go over the wall. It looks like he went to the opposite side, the far side of the goal, instead of going for that near post. And uh, the keeper was wrong-footed and... What a goal from uh, Will Longbottom there, one all. Oh, Longbottom's final contribution was pretty much the free kick, so not a bad final contribution to have. No, I think he worked really hard tonight and definitely deserved that goal. You know, We mentioned in the first half that he was the lone presser, almost uh, the lone number nine, but really deserved that goal, a terrific free kick. Yeah, but Blackpool coming forward now, though. Can they get their rhythm back that happened what they had before the goal? It's a good ball into the middle. It's a real chance. Can they turn? What a challenge that is. And the shot eventually comes in, it's blocked, and eventually it's cleared away. Well, that Whiting maybe with a challenge, that was absolutely brilliant. A vital block to make it remain 1-1. The striker had acres of room in the area, though. He just couldn't really get the ball out of his feet, but fair play to Whiting. He's probably been my Park Avenue man of the match tonight. It's uh, Mason Brewis, who's actually came on for Bradford Park Avenue again. We're just getting, just getting track of the numbers here at the moment. <laughs> so many have changed throughout the game. As Trialist T has the ball right now, he's done really well to control it. Plays it out to the left-hand side to Trialis K, who plays one in. It's not a bad ball. It's going to be headed away, though. And the ball falls on the edge of the area. But maybe going to take a shot on there. And the ball's still with Park Avenue. Can they do anything with it? And the ball now is in a, it was with Trialis R. And Trialis K has it as well. Trialis all over the place now. Good delivery. Oh, that's a great ball in. It looked like it was going to be a really good chance. That's been given as a goal kick in the end. I thought the, the Blackpool defender got a touch on that. 
The chance was at the back post, I believe. A chance for Joel Orty, maybe. It was a real chance, but in the end, nothing came of it. The last touch was off Orty, according to the referee. But they have the ball back, actually. And here come Park Avenue again. Shot opens up. Oh, oh it's just fun. The effort that was. Absolutely brilliant play, I believe. That was actually trialist. Oh, the play ball's still in play there. Blackpool just cannot get the ball here. Park Avenue come forward again. It's a really good chance. The shot comes in. Yeah! The goal! Park Avenue have the lead. They've turned this game on its head. From 1-0 down to 2-1 up, I believe. That might well be trialist Star who's actually scored. Goalkeeper sights Ken Werby, who boots it forward of his left foot. And this match turned into a good ball. It has turned into a good ball. That's actually the perimeter behind here, Park Avenue, actually, on the right-hand side. And in the end, it's going to go back. It's going to go back to uh, Whiting. It's a good ball. Trialist Star, sorry, the goal scorer for the second one. And they continue to come forward. Ball play to the back post. And it's going to be given oh. away for a corner. To be fair, number two didn't get a shout there. It's the only choice he had. Actually, you know, the ball's played right into the middle. And here come Bradford Park Avenue as well. Acres of room to run into. There's, chat, there's options right and left. Which option are they going to choose? It's trialist T. He's offside once again. He's put it wide anyway. Second time in a few minutes he's been offside. It looked like the man just to the right of him might have been better placed, but I think they were both offside, to be honest. It wouldn't have mattered either way. Not giving it up, though, Cole Billy does well to close him down. And then it's uh, flicked on. Oh, it's a good chance here, maybe, for Blackpool if it's onside. Here's onside into the area. Chance! Oh, it's a good finish. It's 2-2. And Blackpool are back in it. Abs out of absolute nothing, to be honest. And uh, just under 10 minutes to go. And, yeah, that goal came out. Another flick over the top. Onside. Takes a chance really well. Yeah, Liam Hall seems to get a perhaps a hand to it, but... Beating for pace there, really. Beating for pace and power. It's tidy finish. It's a really, really good finish, actually, yes, to make it 2-2. Uh, and yeah. it, a bit more difficult, especially. And here come Blackpool coming forward now. Ball played over the top. Chance for the header. Oh, it's gone in. Uh, it is 3-2. And Bradford and Blackpool have completely turned the game around now. From 2-1 down to 3-2 up. And yeah, I think the header there. Just like it was maybe going over the crossbar. I thought Hall got enough of a hand on its tip it over the bar. But in the end, it just kind of fallen beneath his hand and went in. A bit of a disappointing one. Six minutes remaining at the Horsfall Community Stadium. And Blackpool from leading to behind to leading again. Avenue in possession. Are they looking to build anything going forward? This game has certainly had some drama. Oh, and the ball through and just nearly prodded through to trialist T. I think it was a little bit flat-footed there. You see him acknowledge the pass there with his arm up and uh, maybe a little bit of a sharper movement. He could have been in behind, but maybe a bit flat-footed. Yeah, I don't think he expected that first-time ball to come through as it did from Will Callaghan, uh, but nonetheless, they go on. Absolutely not, and here come Blackpool now coming forward. Number 18, who's the man who started the scoring tonight. He goes out this time, though. The ball comes in, oh, and it's well caught by Liam Hall that time. They want to do it. Now you've got Trialist T on the field. He's definitely shown, he's shown he's capable of winning flicks on. Lots of space at the edge of the and area. Yeah, can get it there. absolutely. And the throw does go back. And it's with Harrison Hopper, who's played everywhere tonight. I feel like good ball in from him as well. Header comes in. It's not a bad effort. Always going to be tough to beat the goalkeeper. And that concludes the action for a thrilling five-goal game at the Horsefall Community Stadium tonight. I've been Samuel Wright, joined by Arthur Differ and Arthur. What a game it's been. 3-2 to Blackpool. Brad Park Avenue 2, Blackpool 3. A thrilling contest. And uh, any last words? Uh, no, I think that was a really competitive game. You know, I think um, Park Avenue... You know, the result may not have gone their way, obviously, with it being pre-season, it doesn't matter too much. Um, but, you know, nonetheless, quite a, a good run out. And like you say, I think Jack Whiting, you know, he had three centre-back partners tonight uh, and looked consistent throughout. Uh, long bottom with a terrific free kick in the second half from close range, wrong foot in the goalkeeper. But, yeah, no, I think lots of positives to take from Park Avenue there for Park Avenue. But just got to hope those injuries don't... Don't stick with us, really. Yeah, of course. The injuries, of course, in pre-season are the most important thing. Let's hope that they're not injured and let's hope they do recover for the game against 15 days in 15 days' time against Macclesfield Town. That is the game we're all waiting for, the one against Macclesfield. That's what all these games are building up to. The opening game again of the season against a very tough opponent in Macclesfield. So... Let's hope what a great show tonight from both teams. Credit to both uh, Bradford Park Avenue and Blackpool 11. A really entertaining Friday night game. A five-goal thriller. But the final score at the Horsefall Community Stadium. Bradford Park Avenue 2. Blackpool 11-3. Good night.